Hi, I'm Claude from Tommy's in Slough. We are a restaurant, deli and cookery school and today I'm going to show you a nice and easy recipe. Uh, I'm now going to make a red wine, red wine sauce which is uh, suitable uh, for beef dishes, beef steaks, fillet steaks, that sort of thing. Okay, the ingredients that I need for that are some red wine, some beef stock, uh, which um, I have made myself, obviously. It's made up with beef bones, tomato, a small amount of flour, so it'll be slightly thicker than your normal stock, some vegetables and so on. Um, if you'd like to buy some beef stock, try not to stick to buying a, a stop cube from a supermarket, but try to find a fresh stock that you can find and then try to reduce it slightly so it becomes sort of thicker and richer. Uh, also need a little bit of salt and pepper and to finish off, just a very small quantity of butter. Okay, to make the sauce, I need to use a small saucepan and I need to reduce my red wine until it becomes almost fully reduced. I would say reduce it by three quarters or thereabout. And be quite generous with the amount of red wine that you're using as well. The red wine that you're using should be um, preferably full bodied, uh, so it will give uh, your sauce a little bit of a deeper color and a bit of depth as well and, and a lot more flavor. So something so slightly uh, full bodied like a Merlot or, or a Shiraz or something like this. Don't use uh, something too light for that. When the red wine is uh, reduced uh, by about three quarters, uh, it will become very thick and syrupy and this is the time where you want to add your stock. So pour your beef stock in and again bring it to the boil, okay, which will take a couple of minutes if that. You will notice at this stage that the sauce is going to become a little bit deeper in color and that's because of the reduced red wine obviously. And that is one thing that you do want, you won't have nice sort of deep red color when your sauce is finished. A little bit of seasoning, some salt and some pepper. And now you need to wait until it boils again. So when the sauce has come to the boil, just reduce it slightly until it reaches the right sort of consistency. Then give it a final taste, rectify the seasoning with a bit of salt and pepper. And finally, just before serving, just put a very small amount of butter to give it a nice, shiny uh, finish, which you can incorporate with a whisk like this. And that's how to make a red wine sauce.